Hey everyone, good morning. There's um happy Friday. December 2nd. Happy holidays. I got the coffee going over here. It's morning. There's an idea that Oakland Raiders owner Mark Davis is not listening to words regarding Oakland Stadium proposal. I'm here to tell you that nothing could be further from the truth. It's a follow-up on the email dump. Coffee over there. That I distributed yesterday on zenny62.com, zenny62 on YouTube, which you're watching, and the Oakland Post. And what the emails reveal is that Oakland Raiders Vice President Larry McNeil was in a constant conversation on email and meeting with the City of Oakland Assistant City Administrator Claudia Capio. Forgive me because I'm so used to the time that Oakland had city managers that's still in my head, but I digress. Mark Davis, as the owner of the Oakland Raiders, would not dispatch his vice president to do detailed work in terms of demolition costs with the Coliseum, where parking is going to go, planning infrastructure fee costs, all the minutia that calls for basically laying out the land to build a stadium. He would not then go out and ask for bids for construction of a stadium, which he did then bid almost simultaneous to that, just a little bit after that. Mark Davis would not ask his president, Mark Bedane, to meet with representatives of Fortress Investments in San Francisco, which Bedane did do as recently as about a month ago now. So, and it's more than once. And don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. I don't care if it comes from the Raiders. Okay. The truth, as you can see by the emails, is different from what you've been told. That's the whole deal. But I digress again. There's this idea that you know, Mark Davis is going to just pay attention to Las Vegas and move in there. And that everything is set for Las Vegas and it's not. For example, where is the stadium going to go? I'm just asking, okay? Where's it going to go? No one knows. Oh, and the Southern Nevada Tourism and Infrastructure Committee, commission that Governor Brian Sandoval of Nevada formed, passed the recommendations that led to Senate Bill 1, which says that the Stadium Authority of Clark County makes the decision of where the stadium goes, where the land will be. Guess what? The Clark County Stadium Authority isn't even finished filling its board seats. You understand what I'm saying? And they meet this Monday. Let's go out and meet and check it out. Now, something else you have to keep in mind, too. So tell me who the developer for this is going to be for Las Vegas. Oh, you said Majestic? Excuse me? Did you say Majestic? Majestic's gone. Oh, and by the way, they took their $150 million with them. Bye-bye. The you know, last time that we checked in on Sheldon Adelson and Mark Davis, Sheldon was threatening to pull from the project. Where is that? Where's the investment banker? Okay. Where's the approval to build a stadium? Not there. Where is this? It's nowhere. Where's the $1 billion in estimated additional transportation infrastructure costs that the stadium is going to call for if it's built either at the Bali High site or the Russell Road site? Where is that? Hmm? Where is that? Where's the architect? Oh, and before you say to me that the architectural design was released and the architect was selected, it wasn't. That design was copy-pasted. Coffee almost ready. It was copy-pasted from Carson. Check it out. Sorry, Vegas folks. Hey, look. If you have your idea, your life invested in this, don't do it. It's a bad investment. But I digress again. The bottom line is this. Mark Davis is not an idiot. He is not going to just ignore Oakland for this pipe dream of an idea that he can make more money in Las Vegas. The simple fact of the matter is he can't. If Las Vegas were an NFL city, it would have the lowest wage of any NFL city that consists of a team that's privately owned. Of course, that's every city and every team except the Green Bay Packers, which is a special case of fans, family, and football 
drive this dramatic ticket sales. It's gonna be good coffee. You should smell that. You smell that rich aroma. At any rate, the bottom line is that Davis is playing at tool a dual stadium planning tracks. On the one hand, he wants a deal done in Oakland. And yes, Vegas is pushing Oakland. But he wants to see if Vegas can come up with something. And right now, Vegas isn't coming up with anything. Now, for those of you who yell $750 million, um, riddle me this. Farmers Insurance signed a sponsorship deal with AEG and Schitt's Entertainment Group to build a stadium for the Rams to return to LA and downtown Los Angeles. That was in 2009. Um, question I have for the flock. Is there a downtown NFL stadium now? I think you know the answer to that. Point is that having 700 million or pledged to pay 700 million over a period of time or total over a period of time doesn't guarantee you an NFL stadium. It's much more than that. And a lot of Las Vegas people are going to find that out sooner rather than later. That's not how it works. Las Vegas is not ready. Mark Davis is not turning his back on Oakland. Don't believe the fake news reports that you've heard because that's precisely what they are. Stay tuned.